In mathematics, any vector space V has a corresponding dual vector space or just dual space for short consisting of all linear functionals on V, together with the vector space structure of pointwise addition and scalar multiplication by constants. The dual space as defined above is defined for all vector spaces, and to avoid ambiguity may also be called the algebraic dual space. When defined for a topological vector space, there is a subspace of the dual space, corresponding to continuous linear functionals, called the continuous dual space. Dual vector spaces find application in many branches of mathematics that use vector spaces, such as in tensor analysis with finite dimensional vector spaces. When applied to vector spaces of functions which are typically infinite dimensional, dual spaces are used to describe measures, distributions, and Hilbert spaces. Consequently, the dual space is an important concept in functional analysis. Topic algebraic dual space Given any vector space V over a field F, the algebraic dual space V alternatively denoted by V or V is defined as the set of all linear maps phi, Vf linear functionals. Since linear maps are vector space homomorphisms, the dual space is also sometimes denoted by hom v, f. The dual space V itself becomes a vector space over F when equipped with an addition and scalar multiplication satisfying phi plus psi x equals phi x plus psi x a phi x equals a phi x display style begin aligned var phi plus psi x and equals var phi x plus psi x a var phi x and equals a left var phi x right end aligned for all phi and psi element of V, x element of V, and a element of F elements of the algebraic dual space V are sometimes called covectors or one forms. The pairing of a functional phi in the dual space V and an element x of V is sometimes denoted by a bracket, phi x equals x, phi or phi x equals phi x. This pairing defines a non-degenerate bilinear mapping, V times Vf called the natural pairing equals topic finite dimensional case equals if v is finite dimensional then v has the same dimension as v given a basis e1 N in V, it is possible to construct a specific basis in V, called the dual basis. This dual basis is a set E1 N of linear functionals on V, defined by the relation E I C 1 E 1 plus plus c n e n equals c i i equals 1 n 
Display style Math BF E carrot I C carrot one Math BF E underscore one plus C D O T S plus C carrot N Math BF E underscore N equals C carrot I quad I equals one L dots N for any choice of coefficients c element of f in particular, letting in turn each one of those coefficients be equal to 1 and the other coefficients 0, gives the system of equations e i e j equals delta j I display style math bf e carrot i math bf e underscore j equals delta underscore j carrot i, where delta j i display style delta underscore j carrot i is the Kronecker delta symbol. For example, if V is R2, and its basis chosen to be E1. Topic 1, 0, E2. 0, 1, then E1 and E2 are one forms functions that map a vector to a scalar such that E1 E1 topic 1 E1 E2 0 E2 E1 Topic zero and E two E two one. Note the superscript here is the index, not an exponent. In particular, if we interpret R n as the space of columns of n real numbers, its dual space is typically written as the space of rows of n real numbers. Such a row acts on Rn as a linear functional by ordinary matrix multiplication. One way to see this is that a functional maps every n vector x into a real number y. Then, seeing this functional as a matrix M, and x, y as a n times 1 matrix and a 1 times 1 matrix trivially, a real number respectively, if we have M x equals y, then, by dimension reasons, M must be a 1 times n matrix, i.e., M must be a row vector. If V consists of the space of geometrical vectors in the plane, then the level curves of an element of V form a family of parallel lines in V, because the range is one-dimensional, so that every point in the range is a multiple of any one non-zero element. So an element of V can be intuitively thought of as a particular family of parallel lines covering the plane. To compute the value of a functional on a given vector, one needs only to determine which of the lines the vector lies on. Or, informally, one counts how many lines the vector crosses. More generally, if V is a vector space of any dimension, then the level sets of a linear functional in V are parallel hyperplanes in V, and the action of a linear functional on a vector can be visualized in terms of these hyperplanes. Topic: <laughs> Infinite dimensional case. 
If V is not finite dimensional but has a basis E alpha indexed by an infinite set A, then the same construction as in the finite dimensional case yields linearly independent elements E alpha, alpha element of A of the dual space, but they will not form a basis. Consider, for instance, the space R infinity, whose elements are those sequences of real numbers that contain only finitely many non zero entries, which has a basis indexed by the natural numbers n. For I element of n, A is the sequence consisting of all zeros except in the ith position, which is 1. The dual space of R infinity is isomorphic to R n, the space of all sequences of real numbers. Such a sequence n is applied to an element x n of R infinity to give the number a n x n, which is a finite sum because there are only finitely many non-zero x n. The dimension of R infinity is countably infinite, whereas Rn does not have a countable basis. This observation generalizes to any infinite dimensional vector space V over any field F, a choice of basis e alpha, alpha element of A identifies V with the space F A 0 of functions F, A F such that F alpha equals F alpha is non-zero for only finitely many alpha element of A, where such a function F is identified with the vector Alpha element of A F alpha E alpha display style sum underscore alpha in A F underscore alpha math B F E underscore alpha in V, the sum is finite by the assumption on F, and any V element of V may be written in this way by the definition of the basis. The dual space of V may then be identified with the space F A of all functions from A to F. A linear functional T on V is uniquely determined by the values T. topic t e alpha it takes on the basis of v and any function theta or f with theta alpha ta defines a linear functional t on v by t alpha element of a f Alpha E alpha equals alpha element of A F alpha T E alpha equals alpha element of a F alpha theta alpha display style T biggle sum underscore alpha in a F underscore alpha math BF e underscore alpha bigger equals sum underscore alpha in a F underscore alpha T e underscore alpha equals sum underscore alpha in a F underscore alpha theta underscore alpha Again the sum is finite because f alpha is non-zero for only finitely many alpha. Note that f a 0 may be identified essentially by definition with the direct sum of infinitely many copies of f viewed as a one-dimensional vector space over itself indexed by a i.e. there are linear isomorphisms 
v f a 0 alpha element of a f display style v kong f caret a underscore 0 kong big o plus underscore alpha in a f on the other hand, F A is again by definition the direct product of infinitely many copies of F indexed by A, and so the identification V alpha element of A F alpha element of A F alpha element of a f f a display style v caret asterisk kong bigel big o plus underscore alpha in a f bigger caret asterisk kong prod underscore alpha in a f caret asterisk kong prod underscore alpha in a f kong f caret a is a special case of a general result relating direct sums of modules to direct products. Thus if the basis is infinite, then the algebraic dual space is always of larger dimension as a cardinal number than the original vector space. This is in contrast to the case of the continuous dual space, discussed below, which may be isomorphic to the original vector space even if the latter is infinite dimensional. <laughs> Bilinear products and dual spaces If V is finite dimensional, then V is isomorphic to V. But there is in general no natural isomorphism between these two spaces. Any bilinear form, on V gives a mapping of V into its dual space via V V Display style v mapsto langle v c d o t wrangle, where the right hand side is defined as the functional on v taking each w element of v to v w. In other words, the bilinear form determines a linear mapping. Phi v v Display style phi underscore langle c d o t c d o t wrangle v to v caret asterisk defined by phi v w equals v w Display style left phi underscore langle c d o t c d o t wrangle v w right equals langle v w wrangle. If the bilinear form is non-degenerate, then this is an isomorphism onto a subspace of V. If V is finite dimensional, then this is an isomorphism onto all of V. Conversely, any isomorphism phi display style phi from V to a subspace of V resp all of V if V is finite dimensional defines a unique non-degenerate bilinear form phi Display style Langle C D O T C D O T Wrangle underscore Phi on V by V W Phi equals Phi V 
W equals Phi V W Display style Langle V W Wrangle underscore Phi equals Phi V W equals Phi V W Thus there is a one to one correspondence between isomorphisms of V to subspaces of Resp, all of V and non degenerate bilinear forms on V. If the vector space V is over the complex field, then sometimes it is more natural to consider sesquilinear forms instead of bilinear forms. In that case, a given sesquilinear form, determines an isomorphism of V with the complex conjugate of the dual space V V Display style phi underscore Langle C D O T C D O T Wrangle V two overline V carrot asterisk. The conjugate space V can be identified with the set of all additive complex valued functionals F, V C such that F alpha V equals alpha f v display style f alpha v equals overline alpha f v topic injection into the double dual There is a natural homomorphism psi display style psi from v display style v into the double dual v equals phi v f Phi L I N E A R Display style V carrot, asterisk, asterisk equals Phi V carrot, asterisk to F Phi mathroom linear defined by Psi V Phi equals Phi V Display style Psi V Vafi equals Vafi V for all V element of V Phi element of V display style V in V var phi in V caret asterisk. In other words, if E V V V F Display style mathroom ev underscore v v caret asterisk to f is the evaluation map defined by phi phi v display style var phi mapsto var phi v then we define psi V V display style psi V to V caret asterisk asterisk as the map V E V V display style V mapsto mathroom ev underscore V this map Psi display style psi 
is always injective, it is an isomorphism if and only if V display style V is finite dimensional. Indeed, the isomorphism of a finite dimensional vector space with its double dual is an archetypal example of a natural isomorphism. Note that infinite dimensional Hilbert spaces are not a counterexample to this, as they are isomorphic to their continuous duals, not to their algebraic duals. Topic: Transpose of a linear map. If f v w is a linear map, then the transpose or dual f w v is defined by f phi equals phi f display style f caret asterisk var phi equals var phi circ f for every phi element of w the resulting functional f phi in v is called the pullback of phi along f the following identity holds for all phi element of w and v element of v f Phi V equals Phi F V display style F carrot asterisk var phi V equals var phi F V where the bracket, on the left is the natural pairing of V with its dual space, and that on the right is the natural pairing of W with its dual. This identity characterizes the transpose, and is formally similar to the definition of the adjoint. The assignment FF produces an injective linear map between the space of linear operators from V to W and the space of linear operators from W to V. This homomorphism is an isomorphism if and only if W is finite dimensional. If V topic W then the space of linear maps is actually an algebra under composition of maps, and the assignment is then an antihomomorphism of algebras, meaning that F G G F in the language of category theory, taking the dual of vector spaces and the transpose of linear maps is therefore a contravariant functor from the category of vector spaces over F to itself. Note that one can identify F with F using the natural injection into the double dual. If the linear map F is represented by the matrix A with respect to two bases of V and W, then F is represented by the transpose matrix A with respect to the dual bases of W and V, hence the name. Alternatively, as F is represented by A acting on the left on column vectors, F is represented by the same matrix acting on the right on row vectors. These points of view are related by the canonical inner product on Rn, which identifies the space of column vectors with the dual space of row vectors. topic quotient spaces and annihilators let s be a subset of v the annihilator of s in v denoted here s0 is the collection of linear functionals f element of v such that f s topic 
zero for all s in s that is s0 consists of all linear functionals f vf such that the restriction to s vanishes f s 0 the annihilator of a subset is itself a vector space in particular 0 Topic V is all of V vacuously, whereas V zero zero is the zero subspace. Furthermore, the assignment of an annihilator to a subset of V reverses inclusions, so that if S T V, then zero T zero S zero V display style zero subset T carrot zero subset S carrot zero subset V carrot asterisk. Moreover, if A and B are two subsets of V, then a B zero a zero plus B zero display style a cap B carrot zero subset a k carrot zero plus B carrot zero and equality holds provided V is finite dimensional if I is any family of subsets of V indexed by I belonging to some index set I, then I element of I A I zero equals I element of I A I zero display style left big cup underscore I in I a underscore I right carrot zero equals big cap underscore I in I a underscore I carrot zero in particular if a and B are subspaces of V it follows that a plus b 0 equals a 0 b 0 display style a plus b caret 0 equals a caret 0 cap b caret 0 if V is finite dimensional and W is a vector subspace, then W O O equals W display style W caret O O equals W. After identifying W with its image in the second dual space under the double duality isomorphism V approximately equals V. Thus, in particular, forming the annihilator is a Galois connection on the lattice of subsets of a finite dimensional vector space. If W is a subspace of V then the quotient space V, W is a vector space in its own right, and so has a dual. By the first isomorphism theorem, a functional f, Vf factors through V, W if and only if W is in the kernel of f. There is thus an isomorphism V W W zero display style v w caret asterisk kong w caret zero 
As a particular consequence, if V is a direct sum of two subspaces A and B, then V is a direct sum of AO and BO. Topic: <laughs> Continuous dual space. When dealing with topological vector spaces, one is typically only interested in the continuous linear functionals from the space into the base field. F equals C. Display style mathba F equals mathba C or R. Display style mathba r. This gives rise to the notion of the continuous dual space or topological dual, which is a linear subspace of the algebraic dual space V. Display style V caret asterisk denoted by V. Display style v. For any finite-dimensional normed vector space or topological vector space, such as Euclidean n-space, the continuous dual and the algebraic dual coincide. This is, however, false for any infinite-dimensional normed space, as shown by the example of discontinuous linear maps. Nevertheless, in the theory of topological vector spaces the terms «continuous dual space» and «topological dual space» are often replaced by «dual space» since there is no serious need to consider discontinuous maps in this field. For a topological vector space, V display style V its continuous dual space or topological dual space or just dual space in the sense of the theory of topological vector spaces V display style V is defined as the space of all continuous linear functionals phi V F display style phi V to mathba F. There is a standard construction for introducing a topology on the continuous dual V display style V of a topological vector space V. Display style v. Fix a collection a display style mathcal a of bounded subsets of v display style v. Then one has the topology on v display style v of uniform convergence on sets from a display style mathcal a or what is the same thing the topology generated by seminorms of the form phi a equals sup x element of a phi x display style var phi underscore a equals sub underscore x in a var phi x where phi display style var phi is a continuous linear functional on v display style v and a display style a 
runs over the class a display style mathcal a this means that a net of functionals phi i display style var phi underscore i tends to a functional phi display style var phi in v display style v if and only if element of a phi i minus phi a equals sup x element of a phi i x minus phi x i infinity 0 Display style for a in math cal a q quad var phi underscore i var phi underscore a equals sub underscore x in a var phi underscore i x var phi x underset i two inf t long right arrow zero. Usually, but not necessarily, the class. Display style mathcal a is supposed to satisfy the following conditions. Each point x display style x of v display style v belongs to some set a element of Display style a in mathcal a x element of v a element of a x element of a Display style for all x in V Q quad exists A in Mathcal a Q quad x in A. Each two sets a element of a display style A in Mathcal a and B element of Display style b in mathcal a are contained in some set c element of a display style c in mathcal a a b element of a c element of a A B C Display style for all A B in mathcal a Q quad exists C in mathcal a Q quad A cup B subset X C A display style mathcal A is closed under the operation of multiplication by scalars A element of A lambda element of F lambda A element of A display style for all A in mathcal a Q quad Quad for all lambda in math bar f q quad lambda c d o t a in math cal a. If these requirements are fulfilled, then the corresponding topology on V display style V is Hausdorff, and the sets U a equals phi element of V phi a one a element of A display style U underscore a equals var phi in V quad 
var phi underscore a form its local base. Here are the three most important special cases. The strong topology on v display style v is the topology of uniform convergence on bounded subsets in v display style v so here a display style mathcal a can be chosen as the class of all bounded subsets in v display style v if v display style v is a normed vector space e.g. a banach space or a hilbert space then the strong topology on v display style v is normed in fact a banach space if the field of scalars is complete with the norm phi equals sup x 1 phi x display style var phi equals sup underscore x leq 1 var phi x the stereotype topology on v display style v is the topology of uniform convergence on totally bounded sets in v display style v so here a display style mathcal a can be chosen as the class of all totally bounded subsets in v display style v the weak topology on v display style v is the topology of uniform convergence on finite subsets in v display style v so here a display style mathcal a can be chosen as the class of all finite subsets in v display style v each of these three choices of topology on v display style v leads to a variant of reflexivity property for topological vector spaces Topic examples let 1 a p equals n equals 0 infinity a n p 1 p display style math bf a underscore p equals left sum underscore n equals 0 caret inf t a underscore n caret p right caret 1 p is finite Define the number q by 1, p plus 1, q equals 1. Then the continuous dual of p is naturally identified with q, given an element phi element of p, the corresponding element of q is the sequence phi n where n denotes the sequence whose nth term is 1 and all others are 0. Conversely, given an element or equals an element of Q, the corresponding continuous linear functional phi on P is defined by phi b. Topic n a n b n for all b. B n element of P C holders inequality. In a similar manner, the continuous dual of 1 is naturally identified with infinity the space of bounded sequences. 
Furthermore, the continuous duals of the Banach spaces C consisting of all convergent sequences, with the supremum norm and C0 the sequences converging to zero are both naturally identified with one. By the Riesz representation theorem, the continuous dual of a Hilbert space is again a Hilbert space which is anti-isomorphic to the original space. This gives rise to the bra ket notation used by physicists in the mathematical formulation of quantum mechanics. By the Riesz Markov Kakutani representation theorem, the continuous dual of certain spaces of continuous functions can be described using measures. Transpose of a continuous linear map If T, V, W is a continuous linear map between two topological vector spaces, then the continuous transpose T, W v is defined by the same formula as before T phi equals phi T phi element of w display style t var phi equals var phi circ t quad var phi in w the resulting functional t phi is in v the assignment TT produces a linear map between the space of continuous linear maps from V to W and the space of linear maps from W to V. When T and U are composable continuous linear maps, then U T equals T U display style u circ t equals t circ u when v and w are normed spaces the norm of the transpose in l w v is equal to that of t in l v w several properties of transposition depend upon the hahn banach theorem for example, the bounded linear map T has dense range if and only if the transpose T is injective. When T is a compact linear map between two Banach spaces V and W, then the transpose T is compact. This can be proved using the arzeler ascoli theorem. When V is a Hilbert space, there is an antilinear isomorphism IV from V onto its continuous dual V. For every bounded linear map T on V, the transpose and the adjoint operators are linked by I V T equals T I V display style i underscore v circ t caret asterisk equals t circ i underscore v. When t is a continuous linear map between two topological vector spaces v and w, then the transpose t is continuous when w and v are equipped with compatible topologies for example when for x topic v and x 
W both duals x have the strong topology beta x x of uniform convergence on bounded sets of x or both have the weak topology sigma x x of pointwise convergence on x the transpose t is continuous from beta w w to beta v v or from sigma w w to sigma v v topic annihilators assume that w is a closed linear subspace of a normed space v and consider the annihilator of w in v w equals phi element of v w Kerr Phi Display style W carrot perp equals var phi in V W subset Kerr var phi then, the dual of the quotient V, W can be identified with W, and the dual of W can be identified with the quotient V, W. Indeed, let P denote the canonical surjection from V onto the quotient V, W, then, the transpose P is an isometric isomorphism from V, W into V, with range equal to W. If J denotes the injection map from W into V, then the kernel of the transpose J is the annihilator of W. Ker J equals W display style J equals W caret perp and it follows from the hahn banach theorem that J induces an isometric isomorphism V W W Topic Further properties If the dual of a normed space V is separable, then so is the space V itself. The converse is not true, for example the space 1 is separable, but its dual infinity is not. <laughs> Topologies on the dual The topology of V and the topology of real or complex numbers can be used to induce on V a dual space topology. Topic: <laughs> Double dual. In analogy with the case of the algebraic double dual, there is always a naturally defined continuous linear operator psi, v v from a normed space v into its continuous double dual v, defined by psi x phi equals phi x x element of v phi element of v display style psi x var phi equals var phi x quad x in v var phi in v as a consequence of the hahn banach theorem, this map is in fact an isometry, meaning psi x equals x for all x in V normed spaces for which the map psi is a bijection are called reflexive. When V is a topological vector space, one can still define psi x by the same formula, for every x element of V, however several difficulties arise. 
First, when V is not locally convex, the continuous dual may be equal to 0 and the map psi trivial. However, if V is Hausdorff and locally convex, the map psi is injective from V to the algebraic dual V of the continuous dual, again as a consequence of the Hahn Banach theorem. Second, even in the locally convex setting, several natural vector space topologies can be defined on the continuous dual V, so that the continuous double dual V is not uniquely defined as a set. Saying that psi maps from V to V, or in other words, that psi x is continuous on V for every x element of V, is a reasonable minimal requirement on the topology of V, namely that the evaluation mappings phi element of V phi X X element of V display style phi in V mapsto phi X quad X in V be continuous for the chosen topology on V. Further, there is still a choice of a topology on V, and continuity of psi depends upon this choice. As a consequence, defining reflexivity in this framework is more involved than in the normed case. See also Duality mathematics Duality projective geometry Pontryagin duality Reciprocal lattice dual space basis in crystallography Covariance and contravariance of vectors Dual norm Dual module equals equals notes <laughs>